Good morning, everyone. We're uh, gonna go on a great hike this morning to Laguna Esmeralda. For the last two days, we've been very busy in the hotel with workshops and lectures. So it's very special to get out here in the fresh air and we've traveled across, hiked across the peat bog, up to our knees in mud. And then we went um, through the southern beach forest, heading up to the base of this mountain. It's muddy and it's slithery over rocks and over logs. And it's a beautiful day. We walked along the glacier-fed stream with these twisted trees from the winds that are up here. It's been great for the students and it's really special to be here. I'm Jeff Cavanaugh, a glaciologist at the University of Alberta, and we're out today hiking up towards this uh, beautiful mountain cirque. The glaciers here are a lot smaller obviously than they are in Antarctica, uh, they're but they're the same mechanics, they're the same ingredients. You have uh, ice, you've got rock, you've got perhaps water beneath them, and so the dynamics are quite similar. And so looking at the uh, glaciers here and the effect on the landscape, we get a good idea of what's happening beneath the uh, glaciers in Antarctica as well. Yeah. So here we're in a valley that's been uh, shaped by a glacier. It's got a U-shaped cross section, which is characteristic. As you'll see if you look up valley that the uh, the ice takes cascades and, and digs a deeper bowl and flows up over a, a bedrock ridge, then down a deeper bowl again, and really does uh, make a beautiful landform. And when the glaciers retreat, you get a beautiful lake uh, left behind that uh, makes for some very cold but perhaps pleasant swimming. <laughs> 